Hi everyone, I'm Madison. And I'm Abby. I'd like to welcome you all on behalf of our team. Today we are discussing our three month long strategic campaign for our client, ERT. ERT is an ocean lifestyle and apparel brand based in Coronado with strong military ties. But it is much more than that. Founder Ian Ernowski wanted to create something that was louder than the shirt you wear, and something that could really bridge the gap between people and just everything that embodies the ocean. So Earth's story originates from the sea, and it stands for the amphibian. Another important aspect of Earth is actually creating a positive community impact. And just like Madison said, Earth has very strong ties with the military. And a special connection that brand actually has is with the C4 Foundation. Sorry, presentation is going out of whack. Excuse the technical difficulties. But back to what I was saying, yes, ERT has very special ties with the military, and a special connection it has is with the Charles Humphrey Keating the Fourth, C, uh, also known as the C4 Foundation. Uh, and that's actually a local nonprofit that provides support and services to Navy SEALs and their families to help preserve family unity before, during, and after deployment. And ERT actually supports the foundation by creating and selling their apparel, and the proceeds go straight back to the C4 Foundation. Each year, Ian puts on a Halloween costume surf event called ERT Spook. He wanted to create something that was nostalgic and something that could bring the competitive edge of surfing away, uh, just something to really give ERT a heart. And Earth Spook does exactly that. It's all about you know building community ties and just having a really great time. This year's eighth annual Earth Spook event took place at Shipwrecks Beach in Coronado. We also put on the first ever Earth Spook after party benefiting the Seaport Foundation. And that's why today our team is going to walk through all of the research, the planning, the implementation, and evaluation that we did for Earth Spook and its first event. Thank you, Maddie. Hello, everyone. My name is Delaney, and uh, to start us off, we're going to talk a little bit about the research that we conducted in order to figure out what ERT needed to improve on. We started with two different types of research, the first being quantitative research, and essentially how we administered that was we went to beaches both in Los Angeles and San Diego, and we surveyed uh, not just surfers, but also local beachgoers in order to understand their different uh, measurements when it came to ERT. The other thing that we did along with or excuse me, quantitative research is that we administered an online survey to all of the ERT community in order for, to get a gauge of how they felt about the brand. The second type of research that we did was qualitative research in that we interviewed five different people of four different publics. So in order to understand what exactly we researched, we're going to go ahead and move into that. Hi everyone, I'm Alexis. So we really wanted to focus on a couple really important skills throughout this whole campaign. So our first scale was knowledge. Um, during this scale, we really we had a five-point scale, with one signifying that people were not knowledgeable, not informed, or familiar with the brand, and then the five on the opposite spectrum, people were knowledgeable, were familiar, and were informed with the brand. So as we went out to the local Southern California beach community, we found that for the most part, local surfers really didn't know about the brand. But as to be expected, uh, the ERT community itself, they did feel like they were knowledgeable, informed, and really knew about what ERT was. Um, so knowledge in particular was something we really wanted to focus on in general. We felt that if we focused on knowledge head first, that would help us with our next two scales and increase those. So our next scale is word of mouth. When we talk about word of mouth, we are really talking about whether people would recommend the brand to other people or they talk highly about the brand. Now, similarly, we had a five point scale with one signifying that people weren't really willing to talk positively about the brand and that they weren't, uh, where they wouldn't say positive things or recommend it to other people. And then on the opposite side, five meaning that they would do this. Now, also, we found that the local surf community. Again, we're, we're pretty low on this scale. Their average is lower than the ERT community. So basically meaning that the ERT community itself was more willing to engage in this word of mouth behavior, more so than the local surf group. So again, with word of mouth, we felt like if we increase this, we would also increase our next scale, which is, has to do with the commitment, involvement, and congruence with ERT and the community. 
So our third and final skill is the community's congruence with her as a brand. When we talk about congruence, we're talking about whether people really identify with the brand's mission, values, and their message. So we also found that, of course, people are more connected to the brand, they are going to spend more money, and of course, it's something that every company wants. So whether people feel connected to the brand because it's a cool, edgy, lifestyle beach brand, or whether they really love that, what, everything that Earth does for the community and their nonprofit ties, we really wanted to build upon this connection and emphasize that Earth is much more than just another brand you see on the shelf. So with all that in mind, we still really want to focus on knowledge to, in the end, really increase all of these skills. So now we're going to go more into our interview. Hi everyone, my name is Katie. So to further our research, we interviewed individuals in four types of publics, the Earth community, Coronado community, military affiliates, as well as the San Diego State Surf team. Well, we found that some Earth community members might feel like it's a tight niche community. Some others might not necessarily feel this way. However, we did find that individuals are more likely to support brands that hold events for good causes and have social responsibility. So this is why we incorporated the C4 Foundation into Earth Spoop. And now we're gonna go into Hello everyone, my name is Jeffrey, and as mentioned earlier, um, the Earth community was one of our target publics. The Earth community, like the ocean, is vast and reaches every um, corner of the Earth. Our research showed that the Earth community was spread from countries as far as Japan and Australia, and um, from US Navy SEALs to children, Earth's message, message appeals to every demographic. However, like Katie mentioned earlier, um, there was a discrepancy about the sense of community at Earth events, so that's why we showed their community as one of our target publics. Our second target public was uh, San Diego surfers. Surfers were a key target public because her embodies the surf community. And also when we surveyed uh, more than 100 surfers, we found that they had a huge interest in a brand like her and in an event like her school. And our third target public was um, each, each, community, each community in Southern California. Uh, this target public was included families and active individuals who like her have a passion for the ocean. Um, our research showed that our target public were different levels of engagement and awareness. So we, we created three goals for each target public. Our first goal, well, our research showed that awareness was low in surf communities and beach communities. So our first goal was to increase awareness in those both, both communities. And the second goal was based on a client with high meaning with women, which was to encourage word of mouth about her. And our third goal was to uh, strength, strengthen the first community identification with the brand. Uh, based on two interviews that we did with um, her members, we, we wanted every member to feel a sense of community during uh, her events. And now we're gonna talk about our objectives. Hello everyone, my name is Gustavo. And so we used our research to be able to form our objectives, which Align with our goals. Now, our first, during the first part of our research, we were able to find out that there is low knowledge about Earth in the beach community. So we decided to our first objective to be to increase knowledge among beach goers in San Diego and Los Angeles by 15%. On our second part of the research, we were able to find out that the, there is congruence within the Earth community. The problem is that the congruence was kind of neutral. So our second objective became to be able to increase congruence among the Earth community by 10%. On our last part of the research, we were able to find out that there is low word of mouth among beachgoers. Thus, our third objective became to be able to increase word of mouth among San Diego and Los Angeles beachgoers by 10%. All three objectives had to be met by November 2018 which gave us solely nine weeks to be able to work everything out. And now the next. All right. Hi, I'm Sophia, and I'm going to be talking about our publicity tactics. So to increase awareness and word of mouth, we had custom postcards made and distributed those at the same location as our surveys. Um, to increase word of mouth, we also did traditional publicity, um, publicity and media outreach with Fox News actually attending our event. We also did outreach to local surf associations and local surf groups, and outreach to student media organizations, such as the Daily Aztec. 
Lastly, to increase identification with our more aware public, we did the hashtag Arts Booth Costume Contest where we invited followers to send us their best pictures of them in costume and we'd judge them and go through and distribute prizes. And we had that before, during, and after the event. My name is Stephanie and during our implementation phase, we truly wanted to mirror our research and implement it into our tactics at the event. So going back to research, we needed to increase congruence, word of mouth, and the community bonding that we wanted to showcase at Spook. So to start that off, we had a sandcastle sculpture that was kindly donated by the Ivy Possum, which is a group of gentlemen that created a five foot life size sculpture for us. It had the Earth Scoop logo as well as the C4 logo. So intertwining those two and showing that this partnership was um, very salient at the event. And it was also a great photo op for participants. So we saw later on with the Earth Scoop hashtag that people had this all over social media, specifically Instagram. So it was great because it went back to our research and increased word of mouth across social media platforms. Next, we had our costume contest where over 63 surfers dressed up in Halloween costumes and went out into the water and surfed. So this was just another great opportunity to show the tight community bonding that they had at the event. And obviously, Ur is very into um, the brand and uh, surfing and the ocean. So this was very salient and mirrored those objectives as well. We uh, had a winner of the costume contest, also win a $350 uh, beach bike, so that was also very exciting for the winner. Next, we had our uh, haunted house, which is pictured here, with a projector. So we had spooky decorations, as well as a projector showing movie clips such as Dracula, Creatures of the Night, and uh, Frankenstein. So this was also fun for people to walk through, and kids ended up kind of laying down and kicking back watching the movie. Next, we had our Lagoon Lounge, which also really is back to the brand. It was a relaxed, chill environment where people could mingle, play life-size Jenga, cornhole, and get to know one another, and also where families and children came together, which again, increased the congruence and word of mouth about the brand. Lastly, we had our little spookers table where we had arts and crafts for the kids to play. We also had a total of over 20, we had a total of 21 children at the spookers table where they got to take home slime and uh, other arts and crafts such as octopus construction hats. So this was very fun. Again, going back to increasing our congruence, word of mouth, and the tight community bonds throughout our tactics. Hi everyone, I'm Jacob. Um, so after the party in true spook tradition, we wanted to invite everybody to come together, intermingle, and celebrate everything Earth. And that wouldn't be possible without celebrating their relationship with the C4 Foundation and celebrating their mission to preserve family unity for Navy SEALs and their loved ones. Um, thanks to the generosity of the Emerald Sea Art Gallery, we were able to do just that with proceeds for the night going to the C4 Foundation. Now once inside the party, guests were greeted with gift bags that were filled with Earth swag along with swag from other sponsors. They were able to sign up for raffles uh, for individual prizes from our sponsors, register for our beer pong tournament, um, also, inside the, gal the gallery, we had a er pop-up shop with ERT and C4 gear. Um, basically, we wanted everybody to have ERT on the mind or be wearing something ERT branded um, in order to really raise up the brand awareness for ERT. Um, once outside on the patio, guests were able to taste tequila, sip on local craft brews, um, eat bacon-wrapped hot dogs, dance to the, de the music from the DJ that we had hired um, as an in-kind donation. Um, it was really cool to see everybody come together, high-fiving in the beer pong tournament, and you know different groups of people coming together. Um, and we really felt like it raised up a sense of community within the audience, which was an objective that was high up on our list. Um, also, um, throughout the night, Stephanie was announcing prize winners. They were winning everything from a backpack that was valued at $300 to top shelf bottles of tequila. Uh, we also had some really high-grade utility cases from our sponsors. Um, and then to wrap up the night, Ian made a speech and um, spoke about their connection with the C4 Foundation, spoke about their mission, the importance of their mission, and thanked everybody for coming out and um, supporting our cause. Um, we felt as though this really helped to raise up congruence and knowledge about her and the C4 Foundation um, with both of those speakers. Um, overall, 
with the after party, we wanted to create an inviting and fun atmosphere for, for everybody to come together. Um, we also wanted to raise brand awareness, which is why we had the Spook logo branded everywhere from the beer pong table to signage all around the event. Um, and we really felt like the over 100 attendees that came to the after party felt more connected and they felt more knowledgeable about both the Earth brand and the C4 Foundation. Hi, my name is Susie, and for the Earth Spook event and the after party, we were given an $800 budget. Um, without the help of any kind uh, donations, we would not have been able to stay under budget. But we managed to we managed to spend $727. During the after party, we also made $1,000 in proceeds benefiting. And now we're going to talk about the foundation. Hi everyone, I'm Frankie. And at our spook this year, through our research and strategic planning, we really helped more than double the attendance at the actual event. And from this year's event, we counted 62, 62 people were in the water, hanging out, participating in the surf contest, compared to last year's 15 people participating in the surf contest, which really more than tripled the amount of people in the water, hanging out, and interacting with each other and learning Earth's values and experiencing each other. And this increase in attendance is really important because people were able to experience Earth's values and hang out with each other and learn about the brand. Also, the after party was a huge success. Like Jacob said, this is the first time we ever did the after party. And there were more than 100 people who went to the party. And we, like Susie said, we raised nearly $10,000 in in-kind donations. And this let people just enjoy themselves and hang out at the party and sip on tequila and local craft beers and hang out and enjoy themselves. And they we raised nearly we raised more than a thousand dollars for the C4 Foundation, which benefits Navy SEALs and their families. Awesome, thank you, Frankie. And so now in order to really get a grasp of what exactly the campaign succeeded in doing, we need to look at the different results. So first we're gonna start with social media. Now, in comparison to 2017, we had an 18.9% increase in total number of reactions on Facebook. This is very exciting because this means that people were interacting with the brand, they were sharing the brand on Facebook, and as most of you know, that's kind of how you identify when you interact with things on Facebook, as well as other social media, such as the Instagram area, where we more than doubled comments and posts with the hashtag EarthSpook on Instagram. Again, this is in comparison to 2017, and we are very, very excited about this, because this means that we were able to hopefully increase word of mouth, engagement, all these different measurements that we did during the campaign. And last but not least, uh, we did generate local engagement through the online costume contest. This is exciting for future events as well because this means that if we succeeded in doing it locally, we would be able to succeed in doing it nationally. At least that's the hope. So now we're going to talk a little bit about our objectives. Uh, so the first objective that we had, as Gustavo read for us earlier, was to increase knowledge among the San Diego and Los Angeles uh, beach community by about 15%. I'm very excited to tell you guys that we surpassed that percentage. We actually raised it by 18. So this is very, very exciting, especially because when knowledge raises, everything else will follow suit. Which brings me to my second uh, objective, which is to increase the sense of congruence among ERT members by 10%. Now there was a small increase, we did not quite hit 10%, but again, we are very excited about this due to the raise in knowledge. And lastly, we wanted to increase the amount of word of mouth engagement with the San Diego and Los Angeles Beach community about ERT by 10%. Again, we did not quite hit this, but when knowledge raises, everything else will follow as well. So we're very, very encouraged, not just by these results, but also by the social media results, as far as what the future of ERT can be like. And to talk about a little bit more about the future of ERT, we're gonna move on to our recommendations. Hi everyone, I'm Michelle, and based on the evaluations that Lily just talked about, our team came up with three recommendations that we think ERT should use to continue to build and strengthen their brand. Number one is leverage increase in knowledge. When knowledge increases, Word of mouth and congruence also increases. We think they should continue to provide these opportunities for, um, or we should, we think they should encourage the audience that already knows about ERT to engage in word of mouth by continuing to create this cool, fun event for people to talk about. Another thing they can do is prep event photos to send to people right after an event so they can have them right away and share with their network and talk about ERT. Number two is to strengthen community bonds. We saw that the community bonding activities at our spook, like Jenga, 
um, the costume surf, eating and drinking together, and the beer pong tournament at the after party, they were all a huge hit. So we think continuing to provide these opportunities for bonding at future events will allow a sense of community, a sense of community to strengthen um, associated with the brand. And number three is to start small and expand. We saw that the online costume contest was open nationally, but most of the local, most of the entries were local. So we think focusing on local efforts first, then focusing on regional, that's how um, you can then expand to national. Um, asking, or once you have the engagement, you can ask for more participation. So those are the three recommendations that we came up with for community value pushing. Thank you all for listening. It's so special to see all the hard work we put in just really come to life. I think I can speak on behalf of the entire team when I say this was the most challenging but, <laughs> but rewarding experience that really allowed us all to grow professionally and just take everything we learned the past four years, bring it to life, run with it, and make a really amazing campaign that we're all so proud of. Yeah, and just like Dr. Susie said, Really were inspired to use our skills not just to apply them but actually stand behind these two really great organizations and support all of the values they stand for through everything that we did throughout this campaign so again I'd like to thank you all for listening and enduring those technical difficulties <laughs> but now we would definitely like to open up